Hi there guys, my name is John from ActiveJR.com and in this video I'm going to be taking you through the new released HomeKit support for the IKEA Smart Blinds. Now this is not a full review, I've already done an hands-on version and a full review and the links are in the description below and I believe the videos are coming above now. You can check those out if you want a full understanding of how these work. This is simply taking you through how HomeKit works on the IKEA Smart Blinds, how they perform and also my first impressions. Now before we get started, appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel as there's some great videos coming out over the next couple of months and also check out the channel also if you like this video I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up it helps other people find these videos and also if you've got a question or a comment leave it in the comment section below also if you want more reviews and news on HomeKit you can check out the description below that again has got a link to the website which I run HomeKit Authority and there's plenty more information on there so thanks very much let's get straight into the video now, in order to get started, you obviously need a couple of things to make them work with HomeKit. First of all, you need a trad-free gateway, which is HomeKit compatible, and that's the bit that allows you to connect to the smart home platforms. You also need a pair of IKEA smart blinds, obviously, and these need to be running the latest version of the software. You also need an open-close remote, and a signal repeater. And this needs to all be set up and ready to work. Now the firmware update as of the 5th of January, the date of making this video has been slowly rolled out. Currently it's been rolled out in the US and I believe it's coming to Europe and the UK starting today throughout this week. But you need to make sure it's all updated and running the relevant firmware versions. And now if your blinds have not already started to be updated, you can try and manually trigger them by going into the settings and then going into the firmware update section and checking to see if it will update. Now, once you've got all the firmware update, the next thing to do is to set them up within HomeKit. Now, if you've already got HomeKit connected via the TradFree gateway, then the blind should automatically appear and normally appear in the default room. All you need to do is rename them and allocate them to correct rooms within your Home app. If you've not already set HomeKit up on the TradFree gateway or you're a new user, you simply just need to scan the HomeKit barcode like with any HomeKit accessory and follow the setup instructions. It's very simple and I've found it very easy to do. Now using the blinds within the Home app is really simple. If you're already familiar with HomeKit, it simply engaging with the tile within the room. Now clicking the tiles at once will either open or close the blinds depending what state they're in. Now clicking it again will send it in the upper direction, it won't stop them. You can get more precise control by long pressing on the tile and you can set it to certain lengths or you can set it all the way down or you can send it back but you also can set its percentage as well which is really useful if you want to have the blinds halfway down or you want to have better control than just with the tile. Now I found it really responsive and I found it worked really well. I've been using it for the last couple of days with the official version but I've also been using it with Ombridge for the last couple of months and I found it very stable and I tend not to use the IKEA Home Smart app. Another really interesting thing you can do if you have more than one blind covering a window or in my case I've got it covering my bifolding doors uh, which is really good especially if you want to have control over multiple blinds. Now there's one thing to note on this if you have set them up in this way then it is a little bit more difficult to control them individually. That tile will now only control all in my case four blinds. If you do want to control them individually you have to go into a few more settings in order to control them but it's still really good that you can group them within the OMAP. Now despite my positive experiences using the OMAP to control the blinds I do have one grumble and it is a small grumble but I just wanted to point this out. Now the battery information is able to be exposed to HomeKit and because the battery operated this would have been useful. Now in the OMBridge implementation of Home kit for the IKEA blinds. The battery information is shown within the settings section of the tile. However, within IKEA's implementation, they have chosen not to include this. Now, this may be an oversight by IKEA, and hopefully, they'll implement it down the line because it has been particularly useful the last couple of months to see where my battery levels are of the blinds because it's not immediately clear within the IKEA app either. Moving on to automations and scene control. And now for me, this is where the smart blinds really benefit from having HomeKit support. Now you can include them in new and existing automations. And what this means is that you can set up certain times a day for certain things to happen. And within HomeKit, you have got these options to choose what you want 
your a device to be activated by. Now in this case, uh, the more relevant one is when a time of day occurs. What this means is you can set it up so in a morning they can raise and in the evening they can lower. Now I've set them up to uh, raise and lower at uh, various different intervals throughout the day. I've also included my good night automation at a certain time at night. Everything in the house is locked down, shut down. If the blinds are open, they're being opened by somebody else, everything will close down. And that I found has been one of the biggest benefits for me within HomeKit. You also can use them in scenes as well. So if you've got a games room or a movie room and you've got blinds in there, you also can set them up into the movie scene if you've chosen to do that. So you can set your lights to a certain level, uh, turn your HomeKit TV on and also close your blinds. So if you collect the scene for movie night, it will automatically automatically set your uh, desired scene within that room. Now moving on to voice control and using them with Siri. Now again, this is another useful feature. If you want to say, hey Siri, open the studio blinds to 75% and Siri will respond and open the blinds to the desired level. And that is really useful and I found it's worked every single time. And as you can see in this example, how it all works. Hey Siri open the studio blinds 100%. Okay, the blind is open. So I've been really impressed with the voice control and Siri support that the IK Smart Blinds get through HomeKit. So the conclusion and my opinion of the HomeKit implementation for the IKEA Smart Blinds, yes, the late, only by a few weeks, but they're still late. But IKEA have still delivered on their promises, and their promise has been delivered in a very good way. The blinds seem to be really stable when they're used within HomeKit. I've had very little issue, and over the weekend while I've been using them, I've not experienced no response or any of the other errors that I sometimes get in HomeKit accessories. And also, this is great news because IKEA's own app is really flaky and it's not worked that well. And one of my main complaints of the IKEA smart home products is their own app. So hopefully they can see some of the real benefits you get in HomeKit and try and use them in their own app. Now the automations are also really good and it allows you to put the smart blinds in automatic mode. So you don't really have to interact with them. And because you've got really stable automations in HomeKit, you can move them away from, quite frankly, IKEA's own timers, which I've had real issue with sometimes disappearing or just not working at all. So that is a real benefit. Also, the other benefit of being able to use your voice to control the blinds is really good and being able to put them into scenes so you can uh, control them based on a particular event or something that you want to do. Yes, I had a small grumble that the blinds didn't have the battery information like the Ownbridge implementation has. However, I'm sure IKEA will address that down the line and we will see further improvements and further refinements. But overall, I'm really impressed so far. IKEA have done a really good job at implementing HomeKit in a very stable way into the IKEA smart blinds. And like I've said, Hopefully this will entice users to buy them because they are a really solid product for the price point. It's just a shame their own app and their own software really let them down. But now Unkit is here. I'm sure people will start to embrace them. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been greatly appreciated. If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up. Got a question or a comment, leave it in the comment sections below. If you've got your own experience, then let us know. And again, thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.